यू नो पावर बी आई बट स्टिल यू हैव लॉट्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन इन योर माइंड हाउ डज इट हैपन वाई इट हैपन्स हाउ कैन आई डू दैट दिस इज द सीरीज फॉर यू सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन टू गेट द नोटिफिकेशंस हेलो एंड वेलकम टू दिस न्यू वीडियो ऑन एबस्ट्रेक्ट थी सीरीज एंड इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल एक्सप्लोर द न्यूली रिलीज Dex function index. Now I have a previous video where we have just explored little bit about the index function. Now time has come that we will look into the more details of the index function. Now we will begin uh, with the same model which I am using uh, in most of my videos where I have a sales table which is joined with the date table on sales date, and it is joined with the item table on item ID, geography customer table on customer ID, and geography table on city ID. so this is my model and one of the important major which i have in this one is net other than that i have majors like gross margin percentage a typical sales data spread over two years for the analysis now let's create a new page and in new page i will start this with the item category i bring in category and along with category i will bring in net so i bought in category and along with the category major i am going to bring in the net major net is my one of my base majors now here let me try out what i would like here is i would like to use the index function then let's learn how to use that function index function so so we'll say index 1 so basically index function what is going to do is on a particular index what is the value you can find out that value or you can find out the name that one the, one of the thing you can do so let's try to get that so what we wanted here is basically net so let's find out the net of the index one which is category 1 or category 5 depending on what we are going to give either we are wanted to give up a one or minus one depending on that we are going to get the from the top or bottom okay so net and then we have index function in the index function the first argument is position i can start with the first position then it is asking for relation where i can say all selected item category then it will ask for order by and right now i'll say oh, i'll skip the order by because right now i just want based on category so if i don't give then it should give me the based on the category that should be the behavior it should have and as you can see the first category value i am getting see the value in the first category the order by is item category then if i give minus 1 then i'll get the bottom category so in this manner i am able to get now the other things which i can add here is basically order by i can have my own choice of order by and right now i only have one thing in relationship and that's the only thing i can use so i have to use item category and i can end it here it should not change anything in my result let me make it plus 1 again now what happens when i bring in brand along with it so let's copy paste this visual and let's make it little bit bigger for that purpose and let's see what happens when we bring in brand so we bring in brand and in the brand the moment i do it does let's try to understand sort on the brand do we understand this number two times in this brand category we understand in this time the category 1 is 167 so we understand that okay in the category 11 uh, we have the uh, category 1 one this one is also seems correct in category 12 we are not getting anything in category 13 in category 2 some of those categories you are not getting anything okay so let's do one thing let's add the in this formula let's create one more so the we will create this index one more and this time what we will say we will add the brand also and we will do partition by partition by means within the brand please calculate the one okay index one within the brand so we say all item category here what we can do i can add item brand also and then order by inside the order by i only need is still category next argument after the order by is uh, you know whether i want to keep the blanks or not right now there is only one option keep which is available next to that is partition by and in the partition by i would like to add the brand item brand so let me add item brand in the partition by and let me create this new major index 
index one is already there so let's rename it as index two and once we get the index two function let's bring it here and let's it bring it near to the net now you see the difference here that the moment i bring in that even at some of the places where this index one was not able to identify the first one it is able to identify and it is not more dependent on you know because what happened in that category sorting the category one was the category one and wherever the category one is not present it was not giving you the answer now when you have specified the partition within that partition it is only searching for that one number so that's the different it was happening so previously it was searching for because when you are doing when you have only category and inside the category you want the first category then the first you were searching for first category category one so it was having category one it was having category one this was having category one so it was giving that now this was also having category one that's why it giving answer whenever there was no category one it was not giving answer now once we have moved this uh, into partition by of the brand now it is no more dependent on you know the category one because of this category sorting within the brand when it is doing sorting whichever is the first index it is giving to going to give us that so in this manner i am able to get my first index so this is my first index let's say if i say second index second top so now you are able to get the second top okay and now we got it now you might ask question this is fine you know having this index is fine but we never ask index like this we always say give us index based on a major i actually want this number i actually want this number how do we get that so before i do that let's do one thing let's understand what does it this index function gives to us so let's bring in this first one only and then we will try to experiment so let's and we know that when we are going to create table all and all selected will not have much of the uh, impact on that because tables are static in nature so let's create a new table and see what does this function gives us to understand this index table let's see what happens what it does it give it's giving me category 1 this is resulting me giving the category 1 so it means if i put this into filter or keep filter this is going to give me the category 1 okay so the answer of category 1 is coming in the index table okay that's real interesting thing we should remember that now the next thing which we need to experiment with this one and now let's again create a major and why i shown you category 1 because if i need the name then how do i do that okay so i i i know that i have category 1 which is coming out of the index function so let's say you want to know the name of the category so name of top and if i simply give index name top and if i try to bring in out this major and i try to convert it into card i'll get it but let's say okay so category 1 is my name top name okay so i'm able to get that now what happens when i put it into a table visual it is also giving me the answer so i'm getting that category 1 my top name okay and then for value we 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 were able to calculate and we were able to get get the value so if i so i know the name of the category also which is top one now let's try can we give order by as a major okay so let's bring in again let's say top what we want is top by net so we say calculate net this index code is there so top index all selected item category item now this is not going to work anyway we know so why don't we do let's try summarize all selected item category item category comma underscore net net as my variable net as my uh, the expression and this complete my summarize 
so now i got my summarize now i have a value and i would like to give this to order by now let's remove this and let's say can i give underscore net here and let's close this so it's giving error some invalid token so somewhere we have forgot to close it properly so summarize is there order by we forget to close it properly here and then now let's remove the unnecessary one so whenever you do now it is giving error but when i actually put this formula enter it is not showing me error in the major but that this major is going to work and the moment you do it you start seeing some values now is it the top value or the bottom value it's the bottom value why it is the bottom value the reason be, be of that is basically when we sort it on the net we have to specify how should we order it so order by is we need as descending order by not the ascending order by so now we do the descending order by and now we are getting the value now i would like to see this code as a major also is it giving me category 2 or not okay so let's create one more major name name top by net and let's give this code let's see does it work okay now it is showing me multiple values are written so to understand that let's see first create try to create a table and see does it work so instead of creating one more table let's go to our table which we created let's create a new table now here we are getting two columns because we had both net and category hmm so that is why this is erroring out so let's put this into a variable where underscore one equals to this thing now then let's say return max x underscore one comma let's say what is there category are showing error in the formula but it is giving me category 2 so once your table has more than that one then it is going to give me more couple of results and because it is giving me that more than one result i am able to get more than one column because of summarize and because summarize has more than one column i need to figure out a way to get one column and then i actually need to use some function which returns single value so it given me a table with more than one column i need one column so i separate out that and i given that there could be other ways we can do that but this is one of the ways we can do that so now by net by category is category 2 by simple ordering category 1 was my index 1 so in this manner you can do uh, you know uses of uh, index now there could be multiple uses it's not only the uses what we have and we'll continue to explore this function index function to have new use cases around it so go ahead and try this out and do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series thanks for watching this video thank you keep watching keep asking questions in comments subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos thank you